Uh, yeah, so um, our Ravens have had their worst starts of the season since 2015, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, no team has ever won a Super Bowl starting off 0-3. And only one team since 2000 has made the playoffs starting 0-3. Uh, so now and they play Dallas. And only six teams ever. And only six yeah. teams ever have made yeah. the playoffs starting 0-3, which is wild. Go ahead. It's a low percentage. And, yeah, they got Dallas yeah. that are trying to bounce back off that loss to the Saints. Um, do you think this is the biggest the biggest game of the Ravens uh, season this year? Well, I mean, it's hard to see how they come back from this and if they were to lose. And I you look at the Ravens schedule, Demonze. Here's the problem for Baltimore. And here's why I think, in fact, I'm gonna look right now. I bet they are. I haven't looked at this. I bet they are underdogs to make the playoffs. I bet right. Forget win the Super Bowl. I bet to make the playoffs, they're underdogs. Let me go on. Hold on. Playoff. Playoff odds. Baltimore. Oh, Plus they are 100. a slight favorite. They're yeah. You're they're minus one twenty five to make. Plus one hundred four to miss. So a slight slight favorite to make the playoffs. Here's the problem. They have, to my eye, three, just three layups remaining. They have a game, uh, they, they, they have a layup home against Washington, home against Denver, and at the Giants. Here is, Demonze, the rest of their schedule, non-divisional games. At Dallas, home for Buffalo, at Tampa, at the Chargers, home for the Eagles, at Houston, plus six divisional games against the Browns, Steelers, and Bengals. So 15 games left, three layups, six tough divisional games, and then six Brutal non-divisional games. And you're 0 2. Man. We'll say it again. And, and they're 0 2. 2. <laughs> exact exact that's my point. And so if they lose to Dallas, I do think they're cooked. I don't think 0 3 when you have that tough of a schedule remaining is recoverable. And I also think that they're right now are some real structural problems it with the team. It Their offensive line, they lost three starting offensive linemen in the offseason. That is showing up. I Did you see the, did we talk about, or did you see the Zay Flowers retweet? I, um, yeah, I remember it was uh, him not getting the ball enough or something. Um, in the second half, yeah. And he's yeah. not a big tweeter. Anyone who's very, not active on Twitter, social media and then decide like I think he had tweeted twice in the last three weeks decides to hit the old retweet button on a you know kind of I don't want to say shot at the team but to publicly voice your frustration that's a little concerning to me especially because I think Baltimore's best path to Monze is against Dallas at the very least is run the damn ball Feed Derrick Henry, play bully ball, those things. And defensively, right now they're having a real adjustment period and Zach Orr taking over for Mike McDonald. So I do think Baltimore is in real trouble. And Baltimore, my every, we were talking about it before the year, and I said it would be Philly. Now maybe it's, uh, Philly it could still be on that list, but, but maybe there'll be more than one. But I said when we were... Uh, when we were doing our preseason picks, that every year, man, we always talk about the team that shocks us in a positive way. Who's going to be this year's Texans that go from nobody thinks they can be any good to where they are? But the, the flip side of that coin is almost every year, there's an opposite one of those as well. A team that everyone has penciled in for 11, 12 wins that falls apart. And 
I wonder if all of a sudden that could be Baltimore, and I wonder how badly that blowing a 10-point late lead to the Raiders is going to haunt them. Uh, all if right, go ahead. What else we got? be the team that I think they can be. They'll get back in it. I mean, and they're 0-2. They kind of could be one on one. They play the Chiefs in the first week, so that's that's something. Sure. There. Um, well, they they've... could be. Here's the thing: they could be two and zero. Oh. They they could have stolen the game from the Chiefs, and they should have beaten the Raiders. So that's the I my analysis of this. Yes, I said they have some structural issues, but it's less based on the quality of team I think they are. And more based on how hard, how big of a hole they've dug themselves only two weeks in. Uh, but go ahead. On the Cowboys side of it, uh, they've got a tough stretch of games coming up with Detroit, San yep. Francisco, Atlanta, Philly, and Houston. So how badly do the Cowboys need this win? Not as badly as that makes it sound because they they when we were talking Baltimore, all six of their divisional games are tough. The Cowboys, I think, are in the softest division in the league. The Giants are barely a professional team. Washington has major problems defensively and is starting a rookie quarterback. And you guys know that I think Philly is, I'm going to go ahead and say it, mid. Uh, I, I've decided I like mid as a phrase. I used to make fun I of kids for using like it, it, but I like it. I like it. <laughs> you uh, say it a lot. I, just, I, and so, I do say it a lot. So you've got those games. You also have a Panthers game still on your schedule. And you've got at the, at the Steelers, not easy. But point being, I just think the Cowboys' schedule is so much more advantageous. And I think you might be able to win the damn NFC East with nine wins. If I'm right about Philly, it, nine wins could win you the division. So... It it is it's a weird spot where I think Baltimore and Dallas are similar quality of team. Maybe Baltimore's a little bit better, if, you know, on a neutral field, all things considered. But I just think Dallas's path is so much easier. Uh, all right, th- let's do one more Ravens question here about Harbaugh. Uh, yes, yeah, so the Ravens fans are calling for Harbaugh's job. Who do you think would be a better option for head coach of the Ravens? All right, so I got to tell you, my nightmare, and I don't think it's likely, but here's my nightmare scenario. My nightmare scenario is that the Ravens truly do have a season from hell, like 5-12. and 12. And something, because it was, if they just have a mediocre year, Harbaugh, they're not going to fire the coach. But if it's truly season from hell and it feels like we need to shake the snow globe, maybe they would. And I think firing John Harbaugh would be a mistake for them unless it's to hire Bill Belichick. That's my ne- they've, as it, it, my quest for the Chiefs to become the greatest dynasty in NFL history Lamar Jackson getting Bill Belichick to be his head coach is not something that I want on my bingo card. So I, I like I will if the Ravens start truly spiraling, which again I'm not predicting, but if they do, you're gonna find your old buddy Nick Wright starting to root really hard for the Ravens. <laughs> Tonight, I, I I just I don't want Bill Belichick to coach the Buffalo Bills or the Baltimore Ravens. Go anywhere else you want, Bill. Anywhere else. I already have Even to deal with Jim, Jim like Harbaugh. So, so different. Like I feel like Tom Brady is very different from Lamar Jackson. And oh, very, it's but, not about very different from Josh I don't Allen. Think, yeah, I don't think he'd be coaching up. No, no, no. That's not what it is. I don't think he would be coaching the quarterbacks. I just think if if you the paired schemes. one of those quarterbacks with Belichick's defense. Belichick's game management, Belichick's organizational strategy. Now you're now you're really a threat. And so that that's what it is. It's it's just it's a, I don't think he would 
there's much he would do on the offensive side of the ball with the quarterback, Josh or Lamar. I just don't want those two. Those two quarterbacks are so uniquely talented and uniquely dangerous that if you paired them with the greatest defense of mine in NFL history, that's not great for the, you know, the Chiefs are going to be trying to four-peat next year. I don't want Belichick <laughs> and Lamar standing in the way. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.